Springtime in New York City. After what is inevitably a cold, dark, wet winter, spring returns. And New Yorkers start coming out of hibernation. We start smiling again and we come back to the parks and I'd say an overall weight is lifted. Now, most people don't think about wildlife when they think of New York City, but we actually have more green spaces than we do skyscrapers. Mostly deciduous trees too, which means that with the return of spring, color returns as well. Just like here, in Central Park with these cherry blossom trees. Now, just like Washington DC with its famed Cherry Blossom Festival, Japan gifted New York cherry trees in 1912, 2,500 of them. In Washington DC, they planted them in one place, but here in New York, we planted them throughout Upper Manhattan, including here in Central Park, Riverside Park, and Sakura Park. Sakura being the Japanese word for cherry blossom. These are Yoshino cherry trees. Cherry trees usually live about 60 years, but these Yoshinos could very well be the same trees that Japan gifted to New York City over 100 years ago. These are Kwanzaa cherry trees. I actually proposed to my wife here, right here, in fact, but it looked a little bit different back then. It's like a different world here four times a year. I proposed on the first snow of 2012. She said yes. All trees are important to New York City. They provide fresh air, a little shade, and some relief from this concrete jungle. And they can be symbolically important too, like here at the World Trade Center. Here you will find 400 oak trees. These swamp oak trees can reach heights of up to 60 feet, and they'll all peak at different heights. So this will look very different in the coming years. Oak, strength. And you'll find one tree that looks different than all the rest. This is the survivor tree. It's the only tree to survive the attacks of 9-11, and the last life pulled from the rubble. It's a calorie pear tree, a relatively fragile tree which increases the miraculousness of its survival. It was found burnt and broken, kept in a nursery for nine years up in the Bronx to revive, and brought back here to the World Trade Center in 2010. When they brought it back here, they had to keep straps down on its trunk. The roots were so damaged that if there was a heavy wind, the tree could fall right over. They took those straps off about a year ago, which means that the survivor tree is thriving. It's growing. Another beautiful aspect of this tree is that it's older. It's about 45 years old. It's also a different species than the rest, so it blossoms and grows its leaves first. There may not be a more important tree to New York City than the survivor tree, a great symbol for this city's tenacity and strength. See you next week.